Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week, we talked some about the crossbreed EPD adjustments that are available to us in the beef cattle business. And these are particularly handy when we find ourselves in bull selection situations that might include different breeds. And we've recently talked about selection and mating and some of those potential decisions we make with regard to crossbreeding. And so we'll work through an example here, but first we just want to talk about what these crossbreed EPD adjustments are. Since about 1993, the Meat Animal Research Center up in Nebraska has been collecting data on 18 different beef breeds. And from that database, we actually are able to come up with a system of additive adjustments to our basic EPDs out of those 18 breeds so that if I have got, say, an Angus Bull, a Hereford Bull, a Solaire, a Bronvi, and they've all got their respective EPDs from the registry that they're in, making these adjustments permits us to compare those EPDs more on an apples to apples basis as opposed to apples to oranges. So with that said, we take for example, we're gonna use some bulls in the upcoming OSU Cowboy Classic sale book. And we're gonna take a look at the EPDs of a lot 29 Angus bull, a lot 58 Hereford bull, and a lot 71 Brangus bull, and use this chart of additive adjustments in order to effectively put those on a basis where we can compare them all. Now, one of the things that we do in this exercise is we make the adjustments to all the breeds EPDs to put them on an Angus basis. And so our lot 29 Angus bull, we're just gonna look at a couple different traits. He has a birth weight EPD of 2.2. He has a yearling weight EPD of 144. So with respect to his EPDs there, we don't have to change them. They're gonna stay at those values. As we take a look at our lot 58 Hereford bull, his birth weight EPD is 2.6, yearling weight EPD is 123. Now the adjustment that we pull from the chart to add or subtract to those is 8 tenths of a pound for Hereford EPDs, so that effectively makes his birth weight EPD 3.4, and his yearling weight EPD, when we subtract 39.3, it effectively makes it 83.7. So those are the numbers we can compare back to the Angus bull. In this case, we know that the Angus bull at 144, if we're looking at yearling weight, as opposed to the Hereford bull at 83.7, is gonna sire calves that are about 60 pounds heavier than the Hereford bull. The lot 71 Brangus bull in the Cowboy Classic sale book has got a birth weight EPD of negative 9 tenths. The additive adjustment to that is 2.7. So that effectively puts his birth weight EPD at 1.8 that we would compare back to the Angus EPD at 2.2. His yearling weight EPD from the Brangus registry is 56, but we need to add 11.6 to that to effectively compare it back to the Angus base. And so his yearling weight EPD becomes 67.6 for comparison back to the Angus, the Angus bull, if mated to an equal set of cows, is gonna sire calves about 76 pounds heavier than the Brangus bull would based off those numbers. So just a quick example on bulls from three different breeds. Again, we've got 18 different breeds out of that database up in Nebraska and in a crossbreed chart of additive measures, we're gonna add or subtract from specific EPDs to make us be able to compare apples to apples when we find ourselves in those situations, bull selection and looking across different breeds. I hope this helps and thanks for joining us on Cow Calf Corner.